sense. Okay, let's get the ball rolling. So we are dealing with the, let me go back really quick. Uh, escape. Solano County, and we're dealing with Vallejo today. All right, so now that we got that corrected, uh, my apologies, I use a little bit of a standard format for stuff. So uh, we're dealing with Vallejo. The question is, what will $500,000 buy you in Vallejo, California? All right, let's get the ball rolling here. Uh, let's talk about Vallejo. I've actually lived in Vallejo uh, for about three and a half, oh, almost four years, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, great community. In fact, if you look at the picture down below, you can see uh, where I was living at, which was about five blocks up from the uh, actual coast on Florida Street. Um, really nice Victorian community. So uh, let's talk about Vallejo. What do you need to know? Um, it is one of those old military communities. So it has some beautiful Victorian houses. Um, a strong economy and affordable housing has meant new prosperity for Vallejo recently. Uh, as new business and new residents come to the city, um, many of them are finding that this is really kind of that really nice, sweet spot between Sacramento and San Francisco. So if you're looking to travel or you want to go to the Sonoma Coast, Napa, etc., you're right there. Uh, it's a good transportation hub as well. Um, some uh, are attracted by the restored Victorian homes and business fronts, others by the newer homes in Northgate and Hiddenbrook developments. And Hiddenbrook is over that uh, hill right past 37. So um, waterfront and Mare Island redevelopment has become a community effort with input from residents helping shape the future of what has become the most important economic generator in the city. If you look to the right of that picture, what you can see is a little island area, which used to be heavily military, especially in World War II. It was a, a ammunition depot in, in essence. Um, what they're doing is they're trying to redevelop that to make that more friendly for the kind of the urban uh, setting. Um, as well, you'll see that there are some new communities on Mare Island uh, that I would recommend that you go check out. They have some beautiful homes there too. Uh, nice location. Again, perfectly located if you are kind of one of those people that travels between Sonoma, Sacramento, and San Francisco. Um, otherwise, the city's ferry terminal and ferry services have served as a model for the Bay Area. And if you have not gotten an opportunity to take the ferry to like, let's say the Giants game in San Francisco, this is one of the coolest things about this area. And I spent quite a bit of time on the waterfront. So I recommend it if you get a chance to get down there. Beautiful. The yacht clubs down there. So really nice area right there on the Napa River. Okay, let's get into the housing market, <laughs> market update. So um, Home to Mare Island and Gateway to the Sacramento Valley is how I would term this. Uh, what's the state of home sales in uh, Solano County? I keep leaving Sonoma in there. Solano County um, and Vallejo specifically. And the loan limit, this is Solano, uh, Sonoma County is 764.750. Solano County is 644.250. So I will make that correction immediately for you. 644.250, and this is Solano County. My apologies for that. It's a little bit impacted this morning with some other stuff, so my apologies. Solano County. Okay, so let's get back to the nitty gritty, which is the presentation. All right, so um, get back. The uh, home sales slow because of supply and demand. Rates are going up and you just see a lull in, in the industry right now for any number of reasons. But um, obviously uh, rates are a factor and people are really busy in the beginning of the year or just reconvening. They usually wanna wait till April to start their home search again. So uh, kind of a normal lull in the uh, market. Uh, contingencies, lack of concessions are part of this market still. Loan and appraisal contingencies are frequently being removed. So if you're getting into that scenario, um, definitely if you're working with me, we'll talk about that appraisal insurance, making sure that we have some backups in case some of this stuff does change because we want to have a super competitive offer. And that's the key here is you really need to package 
and be working with your loan officer and your real estate agent in uh, synergy to make sure that you guys are presenting a really compelling offer um, because most likely you're going to be competing with other people and you want to stay within that framework of uh, what people are offering. Um, again, I've seen some ridiculous stuff. So there are stuff that you're just not going to compete with. Like a good example is um, had a client who just put a an offer in cash offer $180,000 above asking. Um, you're not going to compete with that in this market. So in reality, there are going to be some of those that are just not going to be within that framework of what you would say is uh, your opportunity to get a home in that, that particular area. Now, Solano County, on the other hand, that was Sonoma County. Solano County, on the other hand, does have a, a, a twinge of affordability that is still exists. So um, I would say it's um, definitely one of those communities that you can still afford to buy in. And it's not going to break your bank. Um, so let's talk about the numbers. So the average sale price is around 570,000. Um, rates. Here's what I found the rates at this morning. They went up and then boom, they, they corrected a little bit, but this is generally where they're at right now. 3.618. We have an exact rate, exact term program um, for refinances. So we're very particular about our rates. Um, this is on a 30 year fix, 20% down, 760 credit with a first time home buyer program. Um, remember on those first time home buyer programs, usually you do have to qualify with AMI, average medium income. So just something to note. Uh, average home sales in about 34 days, and we had 525 uh, sell in October. So um, Solano County is doing quite well. Uh, in December, Solano County home prices were up 15%, selling for a medium of 570. Um, the county sells for in about 34 days, 25 days last year, and there were 525 sold. So just giving you kind of a, a recap of that. Now let's get focused on Vallejo. Vallejo is averaging about 551,000. This is awesome because in reality, what you're dealing with here is this 644,250 cap, uh, which is just a random number for you, I'm sure at this point, is important because what happens is any of the actual loans that are above that, so let's say you take a loan out for 645, up to um, whatever the, the limit is in that area, that's going to be considered a high balance loan, which means you're probably going to get a little bit higher of a rate. Um, so again, here's what I found, 3.618 on a 30-year fixed. Uh, this was not a high balance, just FYI. I left that HB in there because uh, my bad. Uh, 34 days on the market and 135 properties sold last month. So we're seeing movement in um, Vallejo. Definitely. Uh, December 2021, Vallejo home prices were up about 20%, uh, selling for about 551, uh, 36 days on the market. And there was 135 homes sold in December this year, and it's down from 140 last month. But that's still a really significant number. All right. I usually give you some examples of homes that are actually currently on the market. And then, of course, I'll pick one that's sold just to be representative of what we would call comps in the area. So Vallejo Home uh, on 380 Linfield Drive. This is um, a four bedroom, two bath, 1300 square foot home, single story, uh, nice layout, decent sized lot. Uh, this one's going for $549. I'd say this is right there within that wheelhouse of what is uh, the market is holding in this particular area. So um, I would imagine this would be a, um, a competitive uh, bidding process with this particular property. So um, that's something that you want to reach out to the uh, listing agent and just kind of get all the dynamics of what their expectation is before you actually make that offer. Okay, let's look at another one. Second example here, uh, 149 Plov Way in Vallejo. This one, again, 549. This is a four bedroom, two bath, 1700 square foot. So a little bit bigger of a house, an additional bedroom, still at the same price. Um, this for me is probably a manufactured home, but if you notice and you kind of look at it, one of the things that's really cool is it does have solar on it already. So that's kind of a nice move in quality. Um, otherwise this has an open house on 12 to three on Sunday. This one has one 12 to two on Saturday. So, uh, I try to pick a couple that have some open houses. So if you are looking, you can get right out there this weekend and check out these homes. Um, this is what sold recently. If you uh, are looking in the market for Vallejo, we're going back to December, just FYI. Um, but this is a January sale. So this one sold for $495. So right at that $500,000 mark. 
Uh, it's 101 Clay Street. I've actually seen this house. Uh, it's a decent house, nothing particularly great. Um, I believe it was a corner lot, three bedroom, two bath, 1265. Um, ooh, not lot square feet. This is actually square feet of the home. So uh, let's fix that really quick. Sometimes I put the lot uh, when I'm doing just uh, certain areas, I'll do land. So I left that in there, my apologies. All right, so that being our last sold property, that's all I wanted to kind of give you a general gist of what's going on in the market. Um, otherwise, a couple things that you just want to be aware of. I have some awesome programs right now. One of them is if we can get early CD, which we can get early CD on our loans, which means we can close these faster, like in 14 to 21 days. Um, we can actually get you a $600 credit towards appraisal, um, which because we usually have to order appraisals with a rush, that can be a nice offset for the additional costs. Um, but we can actually expedite this process with you by working with lenders who have a streamlined process. So we can get early CD, we can lock and shop. And one of the other caveats is we have these bonus programs like right now up to March 31st. If you do an early CD program, meaning I got all your documents, we have a good clean package before we actually uh, ratify that RPA then we can give you a $600 credit on your appraisal. So really nice incentives here to help um, bolster this purchase market at this point. Uh, again, my name is Austin Lawrence. I'm your mountain biking MLO, and I will see you on the trail. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe, put your comments below. I will definitely get to all of them.